evening my viewers this evening i want to thank god because he is good god he's a god that grants the desires of our heart he's a god that listens to us when we call on him and today i want to talk about take it if things are too hard take it sometimes people complain when things are hard they keep complaining i can't i can't make it i can't take it it is too hard those are the excuses that people give it is too hard i cannot it is too hard i can't it is too hard because he can, they are not really in that line with the whatever is going on that time and we want to thank god because he is always with us and he will give us a way out when it is too hard you have to take it because god will see you through god will help you know the way out when it becomes too hard and you leave it it is you who will lose as you believe that as you believe it is hard then it's going to remain too hard for you to make it and the, the hardness it's not as being in bondage when you are in bondage things are not very good it's like you are in prison you can't make anything but when things are hard just take it and move god led the children of israel in a in a hard way when moses was told to let the children of israel go god led them the hard way let us read the book of exodus chapter 13 verse 17. exodus 13 17 says and it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, and God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near, for God said, lest peradventure the people repent when they see war, and they return to Egypt. People like getting easy things. And when it becomes hard, people want to go back to bondage. People want to go back where things were hard. And God led them the hard way. God led them the way of the sea. They walked and they went to, they reached the Red Sea, where it was again harder. And they cried. Moses had to face now the reality when they were right there they were wondering what to do and the egyptians are coming so fast and the what the red sea is right ahead of them they could not walk so now that's the time the time that god wants us god wants us god leads us in that way so that we can increase our faith god does not just bring faith easy, easily it must be the hard time so that he comes in and then as they, the egyptians came god stepped in and he brought he, he caused away in the sea the israelites passed but what happened behind we don't know now they are still having the hard way they had to go through very hard time but the bible says the, the, the bible says that you must take it and move because god will only come by the time of hardness God will always see you when you are alone with God, then God steps up. But when you are easily moving, God does not show up. You know, when the children of Israel were still moving, it was not that time, it was not that easy for them. And they kept blaming Moses. But at the same time, they were still moving. They would not go back. They moved because God wanted them to reach the promised land. God wanted them now to move the right way and you know God had to increase their faith 
So when they increase their faith, faith now started moving. And faith will not come just easily. God comes when things are hard. When you can't move, when you can't see anything, when you feel you are finished, that's when the time faith comes in. And when faith comes in, God steps in and he brings the salvation. Sometimes our faith can cause us get bigger things that we never expected. And this is the time when you are alone with God. Sometimes people will not understand you. Sometimes you will be left alone when things are so hard and God causes them to be hard. People will not understand you. People will, miss, people will leave you alone and you remain alone and you wonder why. And that's the time you get time with God. And when you get time with God, God comes in. Because he doesn't come when you are a group. He does not come when you are together making that noise we make. But he comes in by the time you are alone and you feel, now I am finished. God steps up because you have stepped in to follow him. You call upon him and he will come and release you. He does not always show everything at once. Sometimes things delay. Sometimes he, you call and nothing is happening. You pray and nothing is happening. But God will always come at his own time and you will know that that's God who has stepped in when you step up and he will show up. Our God is a God who really understands us. He does not leave us. Even if things are hard, he knows you are going through that time. He knows you are going through that time that you can't manage, but he's right there with you. He just wants to see, what are you doing? What are you acting on? Are you realizing that he's right present with you, that you may be able to step up, that he may come in for you? It's the Lord that we have to lean to. Very many times we complain and we say, now I am not able to do this and that. I am not able to go this side. But the Bible says, keep up. Let us keep up moving. Let us keep walking. Let us move in the right way. And God will come in and save us. At times of sickness, the Lord always will always come in. Only when you obey and you agree with him that you, you want him to take a step in your life. Just have faith in him. Just depend on him and tell him, now I'm here. He will come and he will save you. This is the time when God has to show people that you are there. That the time he showed the Israelites when they were crossing the Red Sea, that now things are not very easy. But as they crossed, they rejoiced because the enemy had perished and they were on the other side happy. They learned that they had a God who saves. They had a God who will protect them. A God that will move with them at the, at the right time. It became so hard for them again when there was no water. They complained to Moses, you brought us here to die. Because there was no water. And Moses moved, went, prayed to the Lord. And the Lord gave him a, an answer. Go and hit that stone with the, the rod and the water will come. And because they had annoyed him and he was so tired with them, he struck the rock three times. And that's why God was not happy. And he told him he will not reach the promised land. Because at times we are so much annoyed with whatever is going on. We are so much annoyed that things have not gone the way we thought it would be. Sometimes we feel that God has delayed us and we act so wrongly. And God, that God will not make us reach the promised land because of our behavior. We thank God for what he does to us and we thank him because he's a, a gracious God. He thinks of us every day and he does not remember the past. Thank you, may the Lord bless you and grant us the heart to take up when things are hard, to take up when we are moving, that we may not delay. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, we want to give you all praise.
praise. We thank you for your word that God gives us to remind us that we should not only depend on the easy things, but Lord, we should take in what you have given to us. Bless us, Lord Jesus, in hard times that we may be able to take it even at the way it is, because in due time you will step in, you will step up for us and you will give your praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you.